we are going to show you the camping experience in Singapore. Our very, very first time camping in Singapore in East Coast, Campsite G. Uh, there's two sites for camping in uh, the East Coast. One is G, one is D. G will be the less crowded campsite and then um, D will be the most convenient campsite. That they have the 7-Eleven, they have a lot of restaurants over there. It's very important to have this trolley like that so you can lock everything on that trolley to go to camping. And almost at 80% of our gears are from Decathlon. <laughs> so we'll do some review to share with you that how the item's quality looks like. Is that raining? Oh my god! We have found our spot to set up our tent, which is uh, near to the toilet over there near to the seaside and then near to our neighbor at the back as well <laughs> near to the airplane <laughs> and then you can watch the airplane as well so cool to Yay. see airplanes at the moment so um yeah camping in singapore is free for all the singaporean and the residents mm. uh tourists is not allowed to camp so as long as if you need to book a campsite singaporean and the resident can book up to four nights a, a month mm. and i will recommend you to go to the axs machine to make the booking and you print out the camping permit. It is raining now, so I have to faster to set up my tent now. Let Sean set up the one last bit and then yeah, we'll go inside and show you how inside looks like. So it took us about 15 minutes to do all this thing. It's not bad, right? Now I'll show you around the tent. It's looking good. One person can be easily set up and then uh, I can put it out as another door. Later I'll show you how it looks like. I have another window right over here. And another small door right over here. I'm going to put out everything and then show you how it looks like. What do you think about the setting out the bed? It's very easy. <laughs> it takes some time, right? It's actually very convenient. If you know how to uh, do it and follow the instructions correctly, you should set it up within like 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. So this is our home away from home at the seaside. Yeah. Uh, like you can see, I actually opened two of the windows. Oh, actually there's one more window can open from here. Give me a minute, please. So it will have full ventilations from the pan side. So the other day we did an experiment at our house. This is really waterproof, heavy rain, no problem. We prefer to have this mattress because the, um, I don't want that if, let's say, the heavy rain, the floor get wet, we might not have a good sleep. So this is optional. And we still have our neighbor over there, far away. Their tent is very impressive as well. So this is what I will set up for tonight. Uh, it will be a double bed. No bed test for today, please, because uh, this is, can be very fragile. And uh, we have the love from Ritz Carlton from the other, the other stay four of this and then another one is inside the champagne ah too bad you can't see the champagne just right i was there yes but we're going to uh, drink champagne for sure so um it's very comfortable you can uh, later we change the swimsuit uh, swimsuit <laughs> swim trunk and then we will jump to the sea washroom is over there i'm going to give you a washroom tour later and um we right over here you're not allowed to cook uh, with the open fire uh, although that you can see a lot of people like cooking the pot over there and then but we'll do our best to keep everything safe so we're going to do it like a glamping we will order food delivery <laughs> and then yeah so uh, over here if you're going to if you're still light sleeper i would suggest you to bring your uh what they call the yep. ear, ear, ear plug and then because that the noise from the bird the parrot is very noisy yeah, and then uh, the sea wave can be annoying at night and there's some traffic, you can hear very light traffic sounds. So let us settle down and then we're going to drink a little bit and we will tell you more about what we're going to do. It's time for toilet tour. In front of the toilet, there's a drinking machine. It's very cool, which means that you can just bring your water bottle and then you can refill water right over here anytime. 
if you need better, cleaner and drinking water, a papari sweat is, will be right over here. So one papari sweat is one fifty, and a bottle of drinking water is $1. And then let me show you the shower facility right over here. The open shower, open air shower facility is like this. Very kinky, right? <laughs> and this is a place for you to wash your feet. And uh, the shower area, indoor shower area. And yeah, this is a changing room. Okay, let me try to go inside the poo poo area and the pee pee area. Hopefully, there's no one inside. Okay, clear. So, there's a hand washing basin for you to brush your teeth, uh, urina. So, it's good to be in Singapore that uh, most of the public toilet will come with the toilet paper. And let me check the cleanness of the toilet first. Okay, clean, clear enough to see. So, there will be a squat toilet bowl and a seat toilet bowl. So, here it is. Uh, overall, I think it's quite clean. This is our tent side, and the beach is just right over here. Um, you can see a lot of activity, a lot of tanker. And the uh, live board is over there. And then if you see any suspect, uh, looking people like try to sneak over in Singapore call 999 and yeah the beach itself is quite clean um, we have our swim trunk so that if the weather is good the water is clear we will go to the beach for sure and then if you're lucky enough you might see some sea turtle lay eggs in Singapore so here it is um, this is why that I chose this spot um, toilet is just right over there our tent is right over there. Uh, I like the tree. The tree is like can give a very good support for the roof for us. And then it's very near to a table. So we can actually have a good dinner, breakfast over there as well. And and all the people just are uh, right over there. Yeah. So I think if you set up a tent, uh, choose a place that near to the washroom, it will be perfect. No problem with the rain. So, ta-da! Still good. Oh, a little bit bright. Um, so far, what's your experience? <laughs> like, uh, other than the rain, it can be boring. But uh, if you bring your own book, uh, you have to study. It's all good, right? But like after that, you have a nap. Mm. <laughs> I fell asleep for like five minutes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's quite cozy. Quite nice. Uh, except that because just now it was raining, so we had to zip up everything, and it became a little bit stuffy mm -hmm. inside. But uh, in general, it's still okay. Because uh, it's actually quite nice to listen to the waves. Yeah, it's yeah. very calm. It could be annoying at night <laughs> when we're going to trying to sleep later. But uh, so far, I have to say that uh, it's very good to relax. Remember to bring your alcohol. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, let me show you behind. So there are people that are uh, practicing some sailing or something. Uh, tips to share with y'all. When y'all come to camping, try to uh, wear slipper and bring a small cloth to wipe the feet before you go into the tent if you want a clean tent like we do. Hmm? Any tips for anyone at the beginning? Bring a lot of food. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. A lot, a lot of because, food. Because, um, okay, so this area, area G, right, it's really very far off from a lot of uh, the amenities at East Coast Park. Mm. And if you want to call for a delivery, on average, the delivery charge is around ten dollars. Sorry, mm. ten dollars. So, um, yeah. But for my plan, that later I will walk to the hawker center. Just renovated. It's only two kilometer away. I found a very useful thing that uh, to camping in Singapore. And you can find this bike everywhere, uh, many other different companies. So I took this bike, go to the hawker center to buy my dinner, and we're going to settle our dinner right at the table. We all know that camping will create a lot of rubbish. So try your best to bring all disposable things and uh, trash bag, I mean uh, trash bag or a recycling or reusable bag to go to buy food. It will be very helpful. So this is our dinner. With a view, we are going to spot the airplane. I think that should be Singapore Airlines. And yep, we're going to enjoy our dinner over here. So far, all good? Yep, very good. First time to topless having food at East Coast Park, right? Mm, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we are very happy to uh, choose this spot as a camping spot because that is really near to the tent. We have this beautiful table facing to the seaside and uh, 
enjoy a little bit of the sunset just now and it's very near to a dustbin so whatever things that we need to throw we can just throw to the dustbin and the washroom is near so it's a perfect spot so remember this tree is it's called pum pum we found something over here it's it's a frog we are lying down here it's quite comfortable and if you can hear the wave from the seaside it's quite Come and this tent build a very nice effect like uh, we are surrounded by the sea and uh, we are glad that the weather tonight is quite chilling that, uh, Sean need the sleeping bag, I don't need that and then I think it will be a comfortable night What? Is this something? <laughs> I'm going to sleep? I'm ready to go to sleep Yeah, it's on uh, the sound wave is actually very hypnotizing for me. It's very pleasing to the ears. Yeah. I think that uh, I like about the shower facility, the water pressure is quite strong. Very strong. And I think as long as you like cold shower, this is a perfect place for you to uh, come mm. for camping. I showered twice. Uh, after I set up the tent, I went to shower. And then after I buy dinner, then we showered. Mm. Uh, our whole day activity is actually uh, Sean a study for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then like uh, we were like having snack from the hotel, and then I took about an hour to buy dinner because uh to wait for the. The hawker to prepare the dishes is take quite a long time and then I cycle back and we watch two episodes of Grey Anatomy. Three, Three episodes yes. of Grey, uh, Grey An uh, Anatomy yes. and we think that the time passed very we fast. we drank one bottle of white wine and one bottle of champagne. Mm. So uh, I think we came in at 3pm right? Mm. Yeah it's good. Think like it's like everything is so rushed, like we got not enough time. And tomorrow night and we have to go uh tear down the break camp. Yeah, and then hopefully that we have time to go to the beach to enjoy the seawater. It looks a little bit dirty at the afternoon. <laughs> but we try, we try and then uh we think it's very calm and chill to just have a Tent at the seaside is really like doorstep, a few steps away to the beach. Yeah, it feels like um, it feels like our New Zealand camper van trip all over again. Mm. Yeah, except that um, now uh, we carry a lot more things with us, but it's also it's very easy to set up. So I'm actually quite happy that you know everything can be set up quite easily mm. and can be placed quite compactly into a trolley. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm quite happy that the weather is very nice. So let me show you outside how it looks like. And uh, yeah, that's the bicycle. Then you can enjoy some of the sea wave, sea breeze. Maybe you can feel the wind. And then, uh, yeah, 10 seconds later, I'll off the screen. Breakfast time, the airplanes are flying through start from 4 a.m. Goodness, <laughs> I can't, I sleep okay, not saying very well because uh, um, I think we should sleep on the floor instead on the mattress. I like trying to flip and then oh, midnight it was freaking cold, it's freezing. So I was, uh, I thought that use the what they call the sleeping bag no 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 the, the cloth the sarong sarong is fine and then I was like I'm too cold then I had to open my sleeping bag so <laughs> it, I like the temperature and then I woke up by the brightness and the noisy bird but it's not the parrot it's, it's kind of like the quite minor quite uh soothing chipping sound oh, from the birds okay. yeah and then I have to cycle quite far away I think Three kilometers away to buy breakfast. Uh, we're having a uh, Indian breakfast. Uh, I think that this side, 
They have the coin prata. Wow. Yes, long time you don't have that, right? Mm. I think uh, Camp D is great, but luckily we did not book that because the toilet is on renovation. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if we were there, then we might not have a uh, place to shower. And overall, I think it's still quite cool because at night we are uh, having a good time with watching the Netflix all this thing. And this is uh, Masala Tose. And we also have the vegetable chapati. Yep. So yeah, actually this area is like perfect because um, it's not so near all the amenities. So it's not so crowded. And then um, at night, I think past about 9 p.m. It will be quite quiet, quiet. over here. Mm, mm. And then throughout the night, there's really not much people walking past as well. Yeah, except the neighbors uh, talking oh, yeah, yeah, out yeah, yeah. loud. So oh, uh, wow. I recommend you try to stay apart uh, from each camp and then you have a better sleep quality. Yeah, but we kind of like this location though. The tree kind of like... Beautiful! Yeah, when adds, we woke up, it's all the flower the, everywhere. Yeah, 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 the, the white home. flowers on the ground. Mm. So uh, it's nearly 9 a.m. now. We have to have a quick breakfast and we have to... Uh, break camp. camp. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's okay to leave it a little mm. bit longer. But I believe that mm. the official should be fine because mm. like, so far no one come to check our camping, camping permit. Pass, yeah. So yeah, let, let us enjoy our breakfast. We have uh, teared out our tent already. So you can see the background, the sea, the, it's quite calm. So the reason why we decided to tear out early because of our noisy neighbors start to do the clapping exercise. <laughs> It's a little bit annoying us. It's called the slapping meridian exercise. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a real thing. Of oh, flapping, flapping, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, would you like to do the camping again? Yes, definitely. I think um, it's really very fast free. Uh, considering the fact that we can actually fit everything into this little trolley over here mm. and the uh, uh, safari bed as well as the tent is also quite easy to set up and dismantle once you get the hang of it yeah all right mm. so the, i'm quite happy that to buy the uh, most of the equipment from decathlon mm. uh, it's not the sponsored uh, video or paid mm. video just sharing that uh, the tent it's currently it's hundred and forty dollar now, and mm. then uh, I believe that it can easily get less than two hundred fifty for everything, like with the trolley, mm. and it's almost cheaper than you go for a staycation. That's true, and then getting a camping permit is actually uh, free? free of charge. Yeah. you just need to go to any AXS machine in Singapore yeah. to actually the, book it. The camping permit is nine a.m. to nine like nine p nine a.m. to 9 a.m. Mm. So you have to actually tear down everything by 9 but mm. you can set up as early as 9 a.m. So it's like quite worth for uh, camping. So mm. it's like you spend about 200 plus dollar or 300 dollar then you can go at least like uh, six places in Singapore Island itself mm. and there's another three more places in like uh, Pola Hantu, Sister Island and St. John Island. Mm. And also, uh, just in case you are wondering, right, I think every Singapore citizen and resident can camp a maximum of four times per month, right? Four days per month. Four days per month. Yeah, yeah four days per month. Yeah. yeah. So that's just so, in case you are wondering. Yeah. So by right, uh, you're not supposed to do open fire cooking, but mm. I saw a lot of people that are doing it. So uh, mm. do, be, do your part because uh, mm. you can really easily get food somewhere nearby mm. uh, just rent the bicycle it's quite comfortable i would say that uh, with the gear with the brake all this thing but maybe we can try to find a, a place like uh that we can do cooking it'll be more fun that bring the uh, food to prepare by yourself and then like you have the breakfast you make hot coffee in the morning yeah, sounds like a good idea. Oh. Then yeah. we can actually get a like small electric kettle or something. <laughs> <laughs> where, where to plug the electric? So anyway, uh, we hope you like the video. Uh, do drop Yay. us a comment and let us know anything. We try to reply you as long as we remember anything. We will yes. give you the answer. Yeah, so uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this camping experience. Mm. And would you want to come to camp at East Coast Park or anywhere in Singapore. Or maybe you can tag along with us or after we do all the camp in Singapore, we want to sell away the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, we're going to say goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.